So when I start cutting my negatives, I like cutting my negatives into strips of five. So I very carefully count each frame. And then, again, carefully, because you don't want to cut into the frame of your negative. I just put my scissors right in the middle and snip. I got five. Five. You can see how flat this film is. That's what the effect is when you use that closed pin and you're hanging it down. They don't tend to curl up on themselves. There's nothing worse than working with negatives that have actually curled up on themselves. You want to work with something that's nice and easy. And I also like just keeping them in order. I'm going to talk about that in a second and how to catalog. And this is starting right from the beginning that you don't have film and stuff all over the place. If you keep a nice orderly fashion, you'd be surprised how much easier it is when you're looking for one of these negatives to make a print from.